Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Example 7 for the circuit shown in figure 4.6 calculate A the total resistance of the circuit, B the total current in the circuit and C the potential difference across 4 ohm resistor. So untuk soalan ni sebenarnya circuitnya agak simple. Okey, yang kita dapati cuma ada tiga sahaja resistor. So untuk cari total resistance the circuit so seperti biasa kita menganalisis circuit so kita redraw balik diagram daripada soalan dan uh, kita labelkan resistor kita dengan nombor so from diagram A we can see that R1 and R2 are parallel Therefore, the equivalent resistance R12 is equals to the inverse of 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And from the figure, kita dapati bahawa R1 is 1 uh, 12 ohm and R2 is 4 ohm. So, 1 over 12 plus 1 over 4 to the power of negative 1 and we'll have R12 is equals to 3 ohm. Now, bila kita dah gabungkan R1 dan R2, maka dia dah jadi, kita reduce circuit kita jadi R12 dan juga R3. Now, from feature B, okay, we know, uh, kita nampak bahawa uh, R12 and R3 are series. Therefore, the equivalent resistance is equals to R12 plus R3. R12 is 3 plus R3 is 2 ohm so 3 plus 2 is equals to 5 ohm so that is for question a the answer for equivalent resistance is 5 ohm now seterusnya soalan b calculate the total current in the circuit now given that the voltage across the circuit V is 6 volt. Therefore, I can calculate total current by using Ohm's law equation. V is equals to I R. Dalam case ini, uh, kita nak cari uh, total current. So, V total is equals to I total times R total. So, semuanya adalah equi, equivalent. Cuma simbol total voltage dalam uh, gambar rajah yang diberi adalah 6. 6 volt. So, 6 is equals to uh, I equivalent times 5. Therefore, the equivalent current or the total current is equals to 6 divided by 5 is 1.2 ampere. Itu soalan B. Okay, so sebenarnya soalan B ni daripada kalau saya reduce gambar dia sebenarnya ada satu saja resistor. Dan ada satu bat bateri. Yang ni ini ada R equivalent. V equivalent. So, this is figure C lah sebenarnya. Uh, dan juga current yang mengalir. I equi. I equivalent. So, bagi soalan C. Okay, so ini diagram C. Ini soalan C pula. Soalan C diminta the potential different across for ohm resistor. So, basically dia nak cari V2. Nah, ini kita nak patah balik 
uh, work back through our reduction eh? uh, kita mulakan dengan figure B so from figure B kita dapati bahawa R12 dan R3 adalah series uh, bagi uh, DC circuit apabila dia series maka kuantiti yang sama adalah current so I12 is equals to I3 is equals to I1 to 3. Now I1 to 3 ini sebenarnya adalah I equal I equivalent. So saya patutnya tulis I equivalent instead of I1 to 3. And that is equals to 1.2 ampere sebagaimana yang kita kira dalam soalan B. Now itu figure B. Kita nak cari voltage. Jadi Figure B tak boleh lagi nak kira apa yang kita tahu karenya sama. Jadi kita bawa kepada figure. Figure A. Bawa analisis kita patah balik kepada figure A. Now since kita nak cari V2. So dalam figure A kita cuma fokus pada R2 dan juga R, R1 lah. Okay. So dalam gambar A kita dapati bahawa R1 and R2 are parallel. So in parallel circuit voltage R equal. So V1 is equals to V2 is equals to V1 2 ok so kalau kita dapat V1 2 maka kita akan dapat V1 dan kita akan dapat V V2 therefore we apply uh, Ohm's law equation V1 2 is equals to I1 2 times R1 2 V1 2 adalah kuantiti yang kita nak cari I12 is 1.2 ampere times R12 is calculated in question A is equal to 3 ohm therefore saya dapat V12 is equal to 3.6 volt now V12 since V1 and V2 are, 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 are connected parallel so V12 is also equal to V1 which is equals to V2 which is equals to 3.6 volt so kita telah pun selesaikan soalan C yang minta kita untuk cari V V2 so jawapan kita 3.6 volt so that's all for this video thank you for watching